Hi, I'm Dominique Evans by from Clark Magnet High School. This presentation is on remote sensing for ocean assessments. It has been adapted from NOAA's Okinos Explorer Education Materials Collection. Some of the top reasons for ocean exploration include climate change. The ocean has a major influence on weather and climate, but we know very little about deep ocean processes that affect climate. Energy. Ocean exploration continue, contributes to the discovery of new energy sources as well as protecting unique and sensitive environments where these resources are found. Human health. Expeditions to the unexplored ocean almost always discover species that are new to science and many animals in deep sea habitats have been found to be promising sources for powerful new antibiotics, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory drugs. Ocean health. Many ocean ecosystems are threatened by pollution, overexploitation, acidification, and rising temperatures. Ocean exploration can improve understanding of these threats and ways to improve ocean health. Research. Expedition to the unexplored ocean can help focus research into critical areas that are likely to produce tangible benefits. Innovation. Exploring Earth's ocean requires new technologies, sensors, and tools, and the need to work in extremely hostile environments is an ongoing stimulus for innovation. These innovations can translate across fields and into our everyday lives. Ocean literacy. Ocean exploration can help inspire new generations of youth to seek careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and offers vivid examples of how concepts of biology, physical science, and earth sciences are useful in the real world. To answer how we use remote sensing to explore the ocean, I will briefly go over the use of ocean observing systems, sonars, robotic vehicles, and satellite technologies. The Ocean Observing System monitors changing conditions in the ocean through a series of sensors placed on buoys, gliders, and other platforms. Here are only a few ocean observing systems that are currently put in place. We have the Integrated Ocean Observing System, the Global Ocean Observing System, and the Southern California Coastal Ocean Observing System. Typical data sets collected by these systems include temperature and depth, pH, salinity, dissolved oxygen, chlorophyll, turbidity, waves, surface currents, and tides. Data sets are publicly available to download as a spreadsheet and can be analyzed by time and place. At these websites, you can find interactive maps to visualize the data in many formats for downloading. Sonar uses sound waves to see in the water. Sonar, short for sound navigation and ranging, is helpful for exploring and mapping the ocean because sound waves travel further in the water than do radar and light waves. When sound waves bounce back from objects, like an echo, an acoustic image is created. Here's a sector scan image I took from a Kongsberg NS-1000 during a search at Lake Piru in Ventura County, California. The sector scan use, works by using a rotating sonar head mounted on a tripod that's deployed and sits on the bottom of a body of water, or it's sometimes mounted on a remotely operated vehicle. In this image, you can see acoustic shadows. These are areas where sound waves don't reach, right here. To light up the shadowed area, the tripod is repositioned and a new scan is taken from a new angle. Imaging sonar can be mounted on the hull of a boat, ROV, handheld, or placed in a stationary platform to record moving images underwater. Here's a school of fish in the Channel Islands Harbor taken by my students with a Blueview V130 mounted on a Video Ray Pro 4 ROV. The video is available on YouTube at the link provided here. Side scan works by dragging a tow fish behind a vessel, as shown in this illustration by Gene Ralston. Some side scans can be mounted to the boat hull for shallow water operations if conditions are smooth. Here's an example of a plane found underwater by the EPA using side-scan sonar. Multi-beam sonar produces a 3D imagery and is used for mapping bathymetry. Robotic vehicles are equipped with a payload of instruments to gather data from the environment. Remotely operated vehicles are piloted topside through the controller and computer interface. The ROV is attached by tether to the surface. There are many different class sizes of ROV for specialized functions. Here is our Video Ray Pro 4 Micro Class ROV equipped with a GoPro, Blueview Imaging Sonar, and a manipulator arm. 
We also have what's called a smart tether with GPS enabled nodes that provide location coordinates of the path that travels underwater. We can record video and take still photos that will have the position coordinates stamped on the image so we can map where the images were taken. Autonomous underwater vehicles are programmed to follow a predetermined route underwater or execute an algorithm that navigates following a set of rules. AUVs are programmable robotic vehicles that, depending on their design, can drift, drive, or glide through the ocean without real-time control by human operators. Some AUVs communicate with operators periodically or continuously through satellite signals or underwater acoustic beacons that permit some level of control. A glider is a type of AUV that operates on the surface. Another way to collect physical and biological information about the ocean is through the use of satellites. The Terra and Aqua satellites are part of the Earth observing systems. They carry MODIS, the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer. The Terrace Moda and Aqua Modus, Terrace Modus and Aqua Modus are viewing the entire Earth's surface every one to two days, acquiring data in 36 spectral bands. This data will improve our understanding of global dynamics and processes occurring on the land, in the oceans, and in the lower atmosphere. The Polar Operational Environmental Satellite offers daily global coverage. POSE carries an instrument package that provides visible infrared and microwave data. This data series supports weather analysis and forecasting, climate research and prediction, global sea surface temperature measurements, atmospheric soundings of temperature and humidity, ocean dynamics research, volcanic eruptions monitoring, forest fire detection, global vegetation analysis, search and rescue, and many other applications. Landsat 8 satellite images the entire Earth every 16 days. Data collected by instruments on board that satellite are available to download at no charge from Glovis, Earth Explorer, or via the Landsat Look viewer within 24 hours of reception. The Landsat 8 carries two instruments. The operational land imager sensor includes eight bands used by earlier Landsat missions, along with three new bands, a deep blue band for coastal aerosol studies, a shortwave infrared band for cirrus cloud detection, and a quality assessment band. The thermal infrared sensor provides two thermal bands. More on Landsat bands can be found here on this website. The Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite System is used for weather monitoring and forecasting operations and to better understand land, atmosphere, ocean, and climate interactions. Argos is a unique worldwide location and data collection system dedicated to studying and protecting the environment. Data collected by Argos is stored in a repository called, called MoveBank. MoveBank is an international project used by research and conservation groups around the world. Currently, there are 8,000 animals tagged and tracked in the database. Through the Physical Oceanography Distributed Active Archive Center, you can access measurements focused on ocean surface topography, sea surface temperature, ocean winds, sea surface salinity, gravity, ocean circulation, and sea ice. Data stored at other ocean and climate archives can also be accessed through the PODAC gateway. Data gathered by remote sensing often requires special technology for processing and analysis. Many organizations provide their own viewers to access their data. Here's one from NOAA and another from LA County GIS. ESRI has a full line of geographic information software starting with the free ARC Explorer viewer to ArcGIS Online software that requires nothing to download or install to the full desktop version and, and optional extensions for higher level processing. Envy is image analysis software specialized for remote sensing data. HiPack software is used to analyze sonar data for underwater remote sensing. TomNod and Zooniverse use crowdsourcing to collaboratively analyze massive amounts of remote sensing data. Participants have the opportunity to contribute to citizen science projects ranging from ocean issues such as monitoring kelp beds or illegal fishing to land-based problems like helping disaster response teams by mapping damage from the Nepal earthquake 
and even searching out in space for new planets or potentially deadly near-Earth asteroids headed our way. JPL researchers have also developed a program that allows the public to ground truth radar detected changes from natural disasters using remote sensing imagery. There are now many ways you can be involved and make a contribution to better the lives of people or impact the environment using remote sensing. Now for a quick review. Please visit the following references for more information on topics covered here.